Today's Facebook Live is all about how you can do things that are quite small that can have a massive impact. Um, what we're after, certainly when people come to see us, especially if, <laughs> if they've had a lot of pain or you know they're struggling with something that's just not resolving, it's really looking at how do you move, how do you stand, how do you function. Like if we're seeing you static and we're looking at you know what's your posture we get a bit of an idea how you stand you might stand slightly left you might have a bit of a twist you might have a bit of a sway back um and it, just in that position there it puts a lot of pressure on your spine so if i jump if we take sway back as an example so i'm just going to jump on a step here so you can see if that's my normal posture here a sway back is that it's basically where your body line from your waist and your upper back is behind, okay? So what happens is out of your plumb line, your hips are forward of the plumb line and your body is behind the plumb line. And you can see in that position there that if I'm in my normal posture, my back is, do it that way around, my back is long. And if I'm in a sway back posture, I get compression. So most people will, will misinterpret a sway as being really lordotic. So what they'll say is, yes, I've got a really hollow back. I've, I've, got, I've got a real bad arch in my back. And what you've actually got is a hinge. You haven't got a big curve in your back. You've got a big hinge in your back. And what that's doing is that's creating pressure and tension lower down so if you look at your spine supposedly like this i know it's got a curve in it but if you look at the back you're technically really really placing a lot of pressure on your spine and it doesn't matter what you do it doesn't matter how many times or treatments or you know if you go to Cairo and you get it adjusted and i'm not saying Cairo doesn't work we have heaps of our clients that go to Cairo, but you know if you're consistently then going and returning back to that posture you're not going to change your problem. So having, you know, muscle relaxation or muscle work done or stretching or your joints manipulated or your joints mobilized. So whichever treatment technique you go with, if you come out of that and think, oh, that feels so much better. It feels better because the joints have been opened up. It feels better because the muscles have been released. It feels better because you're not getting that pressure pushing down on you and then you know the most common complaint we get is I you know I feel great I go away and then the next day I'm back to square one or you know I go to work and I'm back to square one or two days later the relief isn't lasting and the reason it's not lasting is that you're here you walk in and you're in this posture your back is released so you get your muscle relaxation done you get your treatment you get your compression uh, your uh, oh, what do they call them? Adjustments is what the caros call them. We call it when we manip your joints. But you get all that done and your back feels a whole lot better. And then you come back in and the next day you go back to her. So that tends to be a bit of the issue. What you're doing is you've got pain, you've got some sensitivity, you've got a problem, you go and get it looked at and then you're getting that to, done to you, but you're not then carrying that forward so you know my best analogy is if you have a car tire and the car tire is wearing out on one side you start to feel the wobble in the car and you start to feel that there's a bit of uneven wear on that car so what you do is you go and get the tire changed and put a new tire on which is great and you get that new tire working but if you don't change the alignment in the tire that's going to wear out again a little bit quicker and then you know that keeps happening so you go and get the new tire and it's still wearing out quicker than the other side and it's because the alignment hasn't been changed and probably that's the best analogy that we've got if you change a tire because it's wearing out on one side but you don't realign it it's not going to last you as long okay so if you then change the tire do the alignment the tire might last you four times as long and that's the key with managing if you have chronic pain so and to be honest if you have an injury or anything if you want to get it better quicker you need to change how you move and how you do it because if you don't change it you don't get those results back so 
the biggest sort of swing around in how we manage clients is giving them, them that information, is giving them the information of, do you realize you're standing a bit off center? Do you realize that you're standing with a little bit of a twist? Do you realize that if you stand and you are a little bit rotated, it can put pressure down tissues all the way down and through the knee. And it's those tiny little adjustments and those tiny realizations that actually, yes, I do dominate standing on one leg. I do tend to stand this way. I do tend to sit on the couch in a favorite spot all the time. And yes, I do get sore when that happens. And things creep upon us. It happens over a period of time. And the, the key thing is that if you can make those small, tiny adjustments because you're aware of them, those small, tiny adjustments can give you a lot more input and a lot more impact than you give yourself credit for. So, you know, if you're not one of these people who can get out of bed and do 20 minutes of exercise and then do it again when you get home and do another 20 minutes of exercise, it's just not you, this, this might be a strategy that works. It's something where, um, you know, it might be as simple as whenever you're standing in the queues, look at your feet. So if you tend to find that your posture is sway, because we'll stick with sway, it means that your belly button is sitting generally more front of your foot. It also means that your weight is behind. And when you're standing, you'll probably feel that your weight is in your toes. And to correct that sway, what we will generally say is you need to bring your weight backwards and you need to bring your body forwards. And then most people will do that to change it. And what we're after is that this comes forward and this comes backwards. So then you get that alignment through here. So if I tighten in my shirt a little bit here, you'll see that my tummy's come in and my ribs are here. And when I'm in sway, that happens. Rib cage and pelvis become further apart. And it's not so much that you want to curl forwards, it's more that you want your center of gravity backwards through here and forwards through here. So it's quite subtle, it's quite different. And, and maybe have a feel if you're standing there now. So if you're standing with your feet, make sure your feet are wide or sort of, sorry, hips width apart. Make sure that your toes and your feet are in line and just have a feel of where your normal is. Is your normal on one side? Is your normal that you're gripping through your toes? Is your normal that you've got the weight on the outside of your feet? Is your normal that your knees are knocked because this can have an impact on how your body then works same like the car tire if you're everything's not level and it's not working evenly then you're going to find that you get results from changing that so things are working evenly and it doesn't mean you know the general bends genders we shouldn't say you're dysfunctional we shouldn't say you have an issue or we shouldn't say it's biomechanical but if you look at it what we're trying to do is get you to normalize how you move so we're getting your structures to normalize so that you're using your body and your joints and not putting the ligaments and joints through stress but you're also using the muscles effectively so they're not fatiguing out they're not weak they're not strong they're exactly what you need them for so if you liken it to you know the three bears they're not big they're not small they're just right um and that's where you know body works dynamically and it works functionally and it works to help you and what happens is if big muscles are doing too much and little muscles are doing too little then you get a little bit of a myriad of uh of issues that can cause pain so takeaway from today is it doesn't have to be a massive remit of things it can be just tiny little steps and tiny little things that you can implement really easily account them into your day um, that one about body and body function I teach all the time it's basically if somebody's been in pain for you know one month two months ten years twenty years they're most likely have no idea where their body is in space. They have no idea what muscles are working, what muscles aren't. And if you can look at your feet and say, yep, yeah, my feet are even, my weight's even, I feel that they're distributed evenly, big toe, little toe in my heel, everything's working well and I can grow an inch taller. And when we're talking that, we're talking that you grow 
that way that you don't grow that way or that way you're literally being drawn up through the top of the head so your joints separate instead of feeling that you're if you look at my spine again that you're compressing and hinging and causing a lot of pressure down on your back and then you'll find that you take some pressure off if you take some pressure off it's like having your finger that you're pulling back if you do that all day every day your finger's going to hurt and if you're doing that to your joints turn my hand around i can't work it out with these facebook lives you run a, a mirror a mirror change when we're doing these um when you're pulling your finger back you're causing pressure on those joints so you go and get treatment and go oh, that feels better feels a heap better and then the next day you get up and go straight back to it and then you know the common and it's not the common complaint it's the common frustration that oh, but i've had treatment i know it can get better i know it can help but it comes back again and it comes back straight away or it comes back after two days or it comes back after two weeks and the main missing link in that is that you haven't been given the little information that you need to be able to maintain it yourself um it's it's being able to get you as a client or get you as somebody in pain or get you as somebody who wants to perform better you know it could be that you're a sports athlete and you just cannot break that um barrier my uh, my son is um oh, he's a swimmer and he currently is uh he's just turned 14 and he's doing what's he doing he's doing 50 meters in i think it's 26 76 so he's pretty damn quick but he's just like boom, two of a second off getting a national time and he's really cranky because he can't get this national time and um the big thing is that when he's doing his freestyle his head's going up and down because he's hypermobile so he moves a lot and he does struggle with knowing where he is in space and if he can keep his head in line and do his freestyle in line he goes like a rocket and the next time he'll do it he'll you know keep his head in line and he goes really quick and then he might have one where he's just forgotten things and he's not concentrating and he puts you know a few seconds on so he or not a few seconds thousands of a second but um he gets really pissed off i shouldn't say that but he gets really cranky because he's like i don't know what i did different i tried really hard i felt i was going really good i felt i was going really quick and i felt that you know i should have got my time and the last time he went and, and did his race a couple of weeks ago he he put i think he was 26 76 and he had to get 26 40 or something it was you know and he was actually trying to do 25 um but he actually got slower he was like 0.10 slower and when we when he came out it was like well you know you did all this and you were great but your head was going like this and when you're talking of like that tiny little movement it has a massive difference in what you do because you fatigue quicker so he was just knackered by the time he got to 70 meters you could just see he was dead so a bit digressing there but the moral of the story is that tiny little movements can have a massive impact in what you do and if we can get over to you as a client that if you have a little tiny movement that you're doing such as this and you're doing it 24 7 because you stand at the bus and you stand in the queue and you stand cooking dinner and you stand chatting to people um you're just loading and compressing and if we can teach you to stand and take some pressure off and it might be as simple as that you stand against the wall and just lean against the wall just to take some pressure off or you sit and you just hip hitch on the back of a chair just to take some pressure off that can have a massive change and a massive impact so you know going along with my child trying to do his freestyle and trying to break his own you know pb you just look at him and know straight away and that's that's not gonna work you know i don't know what you did mate but ain't gonna work um and you know he gets frustrated because he can't tell and the only way that we can do that is maybe video him and show him so that he realizes how bad it is and that's the same with you guys the only way that you realize is when somebody points it out to you you know people will come in and say 
uh, my first question is, you know, what are you trying to achieve? What's your problem? What, what have you had before? What works? What hasn't worked? Where are you headed? What are you trying to get out of being here? And, you know, along with that, I'll ask, what do you think of your own posture? You know, what's going on with your posture? Do you think it's good, bad, indifferent? And what do you think needs to change with it? And most will go, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's not great. It's not, it's not wonderful. It could be better. And it's like, well, what's not great about it that you're aware of? What is it that you think you need to do to make your posture better? And, you know, the general answer we'll get back is, I know I'm crooked, but I don't know how to get straight. Or I'm bad, but I don't know how to correct it. Or the previous people I've seen have told me my posture is poor and it needs to be better. And we'll say, great what's poor about it and what do you think you need to improve and what have you been shown to do to get better and that's where everything seems to fall apart most people seem to know that they you know they could be better you know we can all be better we can't have fantastic wonderful posture 24 7 but what we can have is the knowledge that our posture is a tendency to be this way so we have a tendency to be sway and is my back sore today? Yes. Am I in sway a lot today? Have I been standing poorly? Yes. Can I fix it? Yes, I can bring my belly button back over my ankles and I can take a bit of a rest and I can maybe do some stretches that way to open the spine up. And then that might have an effect and change. And once you've had a couple of positives, once you've had a couple of, oh wow, that feels better then you start realizing that that can have a big impact and it might be that you stand at the queue in the shops and you rest on the trolley or you know you stand at the kitchen bench and put your hands on the bench and lean backwards and just curl the spine a little bit or you know you stand and lean side to side so that you get into the habit of things that can help you and they don't have to involve getting on the floor and doing 20 minutes because the longer I've been in this job, and I'll call it a job, but, you know, I love what I do. I think it's fabulous that we can come in and we can help people. And, you know, we we have clients that come in and, you know, it, it's, it sort of makes me cry that uh, they haven't been given the help that they've wanted because they haven't been going to the right people or they've heard something. And, you know, who came in last week? Some chappy came in last week, and, and this is why I've started doing these Facebook lives. This poor chappy came in, and he came to us like this. He was walking like this. He was in a whole heap of pain, and his posture was literally at 45 degrees. He's in his late, mid to late 20s. He was a tiler, and he'd been to somebody because he had a disc prolapse, and he was crooked, and he couldn't work, and he couldn't get straight. And... The person he saw told him, we can't do anything for you while you're like this. You need to go away and lie in bed, come back to us when you are straight and we can help you when you're straight, which you know, sounded fair enough. This guy literally took it literally and 40 months later came to us. And you know, things like that are just, just so heartbreaking that you, um, that you know you, you can't people take people seriously and people you know put their lives on hold this guy was 26 he'd had to move back home with his um, parents he was a tiler by trade and had literally been lying in bed for 14 months waiting for his back to get straight um and he came he came back to us last week not for his back he came back because his knees were sore because he's now um working um drilling so he's fantastic now but you know we can probably we got him straight within a couple of weeks and that is you know that's great i'm not knocking that's great but that is so heartbreaking that he spent 14 months lying in bed because people don't get the right information so you know tiny little things can have massive massive differences and if you can get access to the information that you need at the time that you need it and you implement that information well you know you can always change the dial you can always move yourself slightly outside of where you are 
it doesn't mean that you're pain free it doesn't mean that you know everything's hunky-dory forever it does mean however that you can manage what you have and where you are and you can potentially change where you are and if it does happen to reoccur so if you do happen to have a little episode you've got some tools that you can use to change it so um see see how you go have a little look at your posture if you're a sway person so again going back to sway if you're somebody that sits like this very very common in girls because we've had babies and we think you know we we've had babies and we're used to that backward balance so we tend to still have that backward balance after we've had the babies and it's very hard for us to think about coming forward have a look at your posture from your feet see where your feet are do they sit parallel do they sit turned out is one behind the other is one slightly turned out which is quite common and also where your weight sits in your feet is your weight even in your feet and if you can get all that even grow an inch taller and you will be in a slightly different posture and a better posture than when you started it doesn't mean that you have all the little kinks and um bits and bobs that need ironing out you know that's what we're here for we're here to make sure that every bit that we've looked at is is correlating well and the pain that people have or the issues that they have or the symptoms that they have correlates with what we found but the big thing is you can help yourself and it doesn't mean that you need to rely on others for treatment all the time what it means is you need to understand where you're at now where you want to be and what tiny little steps you need to start implementing to take you to that point so a little bit of a rant today was um I shall now I've remembered to tell my child about his neck so that he you know remembers to do that all the time um incidentally he does get neck pain so incidentally if he's been doing heaps of freestyle he comes back and he's got neck pain and he comes back and he's got um pain in his QL because he's been doing this to haul himself out the water and then this to go back down again so you know it's hard for hard for kids to understand and certainly athletes wise it's hard but you know if you follow that through it can happen at the pain level as well if you're consistently loading your back or consistently putting stress on your joints and you get some relief from your painkillers or your massage or your hot pack and you go that feels better and then you get up and you go straight back into that posture you're not gonna get the long lasting benefits from it and that's what we're about we're about giving you the tools you need to get those benefits to last you longer so that you know we've not we don't really not want to see you we love seeing clients but you know we want you to have results and that's what builds our business our business is built on people getting results and referring us to others and people getting results that you know they haven't achieved before or that they know they can they can they can get from doing the right thing so check your posture have a look at your feet have a look at where your weight is grow an inch taller if you feel everything is even and anything that you want to do if you want to ask us a question feel free flick us a flick us a message on the bottom of this and um, we'll talk to you tomorrow